Hello everyone, it's the local lab and we're back again with another awesome tech find. And guys, this one is huge. Imagine this. You can watch any video, in any language, and have it perfectly dubbed in your language. The lip sync is spot on. The voiceover sounds incredible. I'm talking full on AI magic here. It's called Sony Translate, and let me tell you, this web app is going to blow your mind. Now, I know what you're thinking, Sony Translate? Never heard of it. And you're right, it's a pretty new package. But don't let that fool you, because this thing is already packed with killer features. We're talking voice conversion that ditches those robotic dubs and uses Koki and Piper TTS for natural sounding, AI-generated voiceovers. You have to hear it to believe it. Plus, it supports a whopping 50 plus languages. Seriously, it's like that babble fish from Hitchhiker's Guide, but, you know, way less gross. And get this, you can use embedded subtitles, create your own, or even burn them directly into the video. Talk about customization. Oh, and did I mention it even has a CPU mode? Though it's recommended to use an NVIDIA GPU for faster inference, with just a quick command line tweak, and you can have this running on your CPU if needed. Okay, I know, I'm hyping this up a lot, but for good reason. I've been playing around with Sony Translate, and the results are pretty good. Here take a look. Entonces, ¿cuándo volverá a salir GPT-5? No sé. Esa es la respuesta honesta. Oh, esa es la respuesta honesta. Parpadea dos veces si es este año. Además, lanzaremos un nuevo modelo increíble este año. No sé cómo lo llamaremos. Entonces eso nos lleva a la pregunta, ¿cuál es la forma en que lanzamos esto? Se lanzará en los próximos meses, muchas cosas diferentes. GPT, Je n'avais absolument aucun argent. Je travaillais, faisais des recherches dans la Silicon Valley sur un sujet complètement différent. Et essayais de démarrer cette entreprise en même temps. Et quand est venu le temps de décider si je veux faire des études supérieures ou si je veux créer cette entreprise? All right, enough teasing. You can actually test drive Sony Translate right now over on Hugging Face Spaces. I'll drop the link down in the description. Go on, give it a spin. But... If you really want to unleash the full potential of Sony Translate and run it on your own machine, I'm going to show you exactly how. We'll cover two ways to get it up and running, the super straightforward collab method and the slightly more hands-on manual install. So, first up, the easy way. Head over to Sony Translate's GitHub. You'll find the link in the description. Once you're there, click on the Google Collab link. Hit play. Seriously. It's as simple as that. Just go through each cell in the collab notebook and hit the run button. This project uses a model with a license. You can accept it by going to the model's links listed on the GitHub repo and logging in. You will also need a Hugging Face access token. You will need your Hugging Face token to do that. Getting your token is simple. Go to your Hugging Face profile, then settings, access tokens, and generate a new one for this project. Now, just paste that token into the your HF token field in the collab notebook, run that final cell and bam! You'll get a Gradio share link. Click it, and you're staring at the Sony Translate web interface, ready to go. Alright, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, let's get our hands a little dirtier with the manual install. First things first, you'll need Miniconda installed. It's a lifesaver for managing these projects. If you don't already have it installed, just do a quick Google search and click on the first link that leads to the Anaconda documentation. Download and install the Miniconda version suited for your operating system. Now, fire up your Anaconda prompt or terminal for all you Linux and Mac users out there. And let's create a new Conda environment. You can use the command Conda create 
in Sony Translate Python equals 3.10 Y. This will create a new condo environment for your Sony install and isolate the dependencies of the project away from other system configurations you may have elsewhere. With our environment ready, let's activate it using Conda Activate Sony Translate. You'll notice your command prompt might change slightly, with the name of the environment now showing to the left of the directory path, indicating you're in the right environment. Okay, here's where it gets a tad tricky. The GitHub repo recommends using Conda to install PyTorch. However, I ran into some issues with that, so I found a workaround using pip install, and it worked flawlessly. Time to grab the Sony Translate repository. You can use the command git clone and copy and paste the repos link here. CD into the Sony Translate directory folder. Now it's time to install the dependencies. You'll need to run those three pip install requirements commands listed in the GitHub repo. There are a lot of dependencies for this project, so this process could take a while. Go grab a snack. Maybe do some stretches while you wait for all the requirements to be installed. Sony Translate needs FFmpeg to work its magic, so make sure you have that installed as well. The GitHub repo has a handy link, or you can find it with a quick Google search. This program already has some fantastic default text-to-speech options, but if you want even more voice conversion fun, there are some extra packages you can install. Again, the GitHub repo has all the details. Just like with the Collab method, you'll need to set your Hugging Face token within your condo environment. You can set your Hugging Face token by using this PowerShell command. To start Sony Translate, just run Python app underscore rvcfui. And if you want to use CPU mode, add dash dash CPU underscore mode at the end of that command. Now, copy that localhost URL that pops up in your terminal and paste it into your browser, and this will open the Sony web interface. Now for the fun part, translating. To do a translation similar to the ones I showed earlier in the video. First, upload the video you want to translate. Next, choose the source language of the video, and of course, the language you want to translate it to. Then, let Sony know how many speakers are in the video. Select the TTS voice or voices you want to use for each speaker in the video. I believe the speaker's numbers are assigned by the order of which the voices in the video does. So if the first person who speaks in the video will be speaker 1, and the next person who speaks will be speaker 2 and so on. Now, click on Advanced, and reduce the Max Audio Acceleration slider to around 1.4. And while you're there, you can enable Burn Subtitles to embed those perfectly synced subtitles right into your video. Finally. Hit the translate button, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed. There you have it, my friends. You now possess the power to translate videos with mind-blowing accuracy. Here is a before and after of the Tucker Carlson video we just processed. I always think, wow, this is the person who's just going to be completely honest and say what he really thinks and not in a way to inflame people. I don't think you should do that, by the way. Don't inflame people on purpose. There's no virtue in that. But just tell the truth. Piensa, vaya, esta es la persona que será completamente honesta y dirá lo que realmente piensa y no de una manera para inflamar a la gente. No creo que debas hacer eso. Por cierto, no enardezcas a la gente a propósito. Seriously, Sony Translate is light years ahead of anything I've seen. And I have a feeling this is just the tip of the iceberg. I can't wait to see what you create with this awesome tool. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and be sure to share any amazing translations you cook up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome tech deep dives just like this one. Stay tuned for the next video where we will go through more cool new open source projects. See you then.